What's up, Summoners? Solo Renekton only here, back for another daily Renekton commentary. This game we're against either Jax or Akali, probably Jax, but I don't know, we'll see. Whatever. Uh, should be a fun game. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say, I was wondering why Graves went cleansed, and then I realized we had a Fiddlesticks, and that makes a lot of sense now. But okay. Uh, and you can't cleanse Zed's ultimate. But let's see. Yeah, this should be a str this should be a good game for us. Uh, Renekton does really well against Jax. Uh, like I said in past videos, if you haven't seen them yet, uh, Renekton stun and all of his abilities go right through Jax's Counter Strike. Uh, you do do reduced damage with the Q and your E though, because they count as AOE abilities. So you should try and save those two. But you can always stun him while he Counter Strikes. Then you want to use your E to get away from him. He'll probably try and jump and follow up, and then you use your second E. And then you'll be able to dodge out on his abilities and you would be out of position with no jump. <laughs> uh, this guy's on my fives team. We were playing fives all day and every day. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Good luck with that one. It should be fun. <laughs> Uh, oops, I wasn't paying attention. I should have been down here with my team. Whoops. Alright. Uh, watered that. Uh, I'm gonna stay topside then. Alright, so I always thought doing shield in, the, in a health pot in this matchup. I mean, there's really no reason to start anything else. This is the best start in this matchup. Because if you trade auto attacks, you get... you know, you're, Honestly, in this matchup, you're not going to do that many trades. Well, you are, but he's not going to do too much damage to you in trades. So it's going to be like little bits of damage, and it's and you're going to be able to heal that with your regen. You don't need like the instant sustain to fight Jax. Because he doesn't have like ridiculous burst or sustain damage early levels. And then if, you know, worst case scenario, we got our health potion, just in case. He's gone Flash Ignite, just like me, so he definitely does have kill potential on us, but it's really difficult for Jax to kill Renekton. I mean, if he gets ganked, I mean, if he gets a gank, obviously he can get a kill. I would expect their jungler to start uh, red buff and then go to blue, and then either gank top or bot, or, t excuse me, top or mid. Oh, wow. Alright, so I think he might have started blue. Because this guy came out of this bush here. So that makes me think like he helped him with a blue buff leash. Like he threw a Q. Oh, maybe not. Because Jax is up here. In this matchup, I started W. You just want to zone him out from the CS early. So just position yourself in a way that you can stop him. So we force him to miss one. Let's see if we can zone him out on this one. You can just stand right on top of them, and then they'll probably click on you instead of the minion. And if they click on you, whatever, you just auto-trade back. And if they click on the minion, then they got pretty lucky. <laughs> but if they click on you, they're going to miss the minion anyway, so... It's pretty good. See, uh, I think he's got like one CS so far. Two CS. Uh, take an E, level two. Okay. Lee Sin's mid, so I can probably get aggressive in a second. It's 11 to 2. Doing pretty good. He hasn't been able to walk up for any of these minions. And I want to keep it that way. So I'm just trying to slow push. I only want to last hit my minions. So I'm trying to keep the wave here for as long as possible. So you want to even get to the point where you're good enough to have the projectile in midair while before you last hit it. And then it, it'll be like you're not even doing anything. I'm just going to... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to Q these. And then I realized I didn't have Q. Whoops. I'm going to zone him from this one. Uh, so see what I said? I stood on top of it and he hit me instead of the minion. And then his minions just finished it off. Uh, I can fight. There's so many minions here. Alright. 
I don't think they realized how many minions I had. That's another advantage to slow pushing. And now I can harass him with my Q. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the uh, really big advantage to slow pushing. If you try and gank Renekton, he can often just... Oops. He can often just stay within the minions and fight you. Especially there against Lee. I just had to make sure I didn't uh, get hit by the Lee Q. And that's fine. I'm not backing, I'm staying, because the wave's going to reset, and I'm... Oh, okay. I wonder if he'll face check me. Yeah, he will, okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm okay. I was worried if I might have had to flash there, but... Pretty sure I'm fine. I can just... I can just clear his tire, I'll be fine. As long as Fiddle's nearby. Alright. I don't think it's gonna work, bud. I'm pretty sure you saw him. <laughs> I'm like 100% sure you saw him. <laughs> But it's alright, we're just gonna keep the lane frozen like this, cause he's missing out, and we'll passively heal up. Just from our immense amount of uh, regen that we got, we got like 4 health per second, it's pretty ridiculous. So it's like 15 or something, what do we have? Yeah we have 20 health per 5, that's pretty ridiculous. I'm just gonna hold the wave like this, he's gonna come back with items but... What can he realistically buy with 14 CS? Not too much. So he might come back with like a Doran's Blade, I guess, but that won't be too much of a big deal. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna hit level six before him and then I'm gonna force an all-in fight. So this is like one situation where not backing is okay. Because he's also missing a ton of minions too, because I'm freezing the wave while it's pushing for him. Alright, pretty good. Let my team know he's missing, because sometimes they roam. When you start to freeze a wave like this, they can possibly roam and look to try and make a gank. But there's nobody in mid lane, so it's unlikely that he's roaming right now. He could obviously roam to Dragon, though. That would be interesting. Uh, so again, we're just going to try and kill the melee minions now, because it's starting to build up a little bit too big and kill my minions too fast, and I don't want to be put in a position where I have to tank a bunch of minion aggro. Because that's not good. Okay, there we go. Much better. Now we'll just leave it again. This guy's missing still. He's probably clearing his jungle. That's what I would do. I would go to, like, wolves right now. Because it's really difficult for him to walk back into lane. Like, even though he has some sort of an item advantage, like a Doran's Blade, I have a level 6, and I can just pop it and kill him. And I'll have my Ignite in, like, 4 seconds. He's still missing. So the reason why he's missing is because we're freezing the wave like this. We're we're putting we're putting out no pressure on the map, but that's okay because the rest of our lanes are winning, and Jax isn't in a position where he can gank too many other lanes. So his options are really limited, and he either has to come up here with his jungler, or he has to come up here by himself and probably die, or he can just farm his jungle for a little bit and hope to try and catch back up, and for me to eventually break the freeze, which is going to be relatively soon because. I can't hold it indefinitely, because eventually your minions will keep supporting you faster than his, and eventually you'll just win, but we'll see. Yeah, I had a Q. I didn't want to miss that cannon minion. Just to prolong the freeze, it's not worth it. Alright, so like now, now it's going to push out, and now he's going to be able to come back top. So if he was smart, he would have just been farming the jungle this entire time. I mean, it's not much, but it's something in that time period, you know? Because if he just came top, he would literally have gotten nothing. Then again, he could have been like, sitting in this bush and like next leveling me or something, but he's not. Uh, he's still waiting. <laughs> but see, like our other lanes... You can only really do this when your other lanes are like kind of winning. Because we're putting no pressure on the map when we do this. So I don't have to send the jungler to deal with me. See, he just waited at his tower. And now you're just going to clear out these minions. 
That was a good play by him. He just did his jungle and then waited at his tower. That was pretty smart. But we're gonna, oh, what the hell? I missed that. It's okay. No big deal. I'm gonna look to push out this wave and then back. Oh, I should have just queued. All right, what should we buy? Got a two level advantage. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna back for real this time. Uh, so yeah, he definitely was farming the minions in the jungle though. I'm pretty sure he went and did like all the small camps because Lee Sin was like ganking and stuff. Uh, this game, hmm. I might go a little crazy and just grab like a Tiamat right now. That's, I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm going to go like damage or in this game. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's see how this works. I'm going to literally go like damage or Like I'm going to build a Hydra and then a BT and then a Last Whisper. So be prepared. Just, I'm gonna tell my team now so they know. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm honestly the only tank for my team. But, so this is probably not the best idea, but it's all right. We'll make it, we'll make it work. I remember one of you guys are asking for this. You wanna see me go like stupid damage builds? I think this is gonna be a fair enough game to do it in. Alright, I'm trying to force down this tower now. Alright, so how you use the Hydra with your Q is you pop your Hydra first and then you Q. And then it'll happen in one instant. You'll Hydra and Q at the same time if you do it that way. Yeah, he's got like no items. I'm just gonna force tower. Yeah, he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Once he uses uh, Counter Strike, I knew he was going to have to flash after that because he was pretty screwed right there. Uh, we don't have a pink ward, so we can't kill that mid laner. Well, actually, this guy can. Oh, they have a pink ward in mid. What am I talking about? They're ahead of the game, they know what to do. That's what I do against a Kali. I just buy pinks and I smash her. Oh no, I'm gonna miss it. Wow. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Whatever. Uh, the jungler must be around. Mm. Damn, dude. Whatever. Nope, no problem. I'm getting, I'm getting large. Oh no, alright. Yeah, I don't think Jackson come top right now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty big. I have enough for my Hydra right now. The Saga curse continues! <laughs> the Saga team, alright, I don't want to like, talk crap or anything, talk shit, but... I don't know, there's, there's like this known curse that goes around in higher ELO. Anytime you get a Saga member on your team, you lose. <laughs> it's not it's not true, but... <laughs> just a little joke people have. Yeah, dude, I'm not afraid of anybody. Oh, I wanted that. I'm gonna keep shoving. Oh, on this guy. Do you have a pink? Oh, he doesn't have a pink. If he had a pink, I'd all in that guy. He has his ult though. Alright. We will accept your free tower. Thank you, friend. 
Dude, what the hell? I want to build my damage items. Uh, I'm done taking, to taking towers for a little bit. I gotta go collect some kills. We gotta get some damage items. Gotcha, bitch. Come on! Fiddle's flashing for it. I can get you, bro. That cleanse. The worst cleanse in the history of the world. Oh my god. That cleanse. <laughs> he cleansed before it hit him. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, we're gonna get out of here. I don't even want to finish this game yet. I want to build some cool items. Let's see what we're gonna get. Alright. We're just gonna buy this straight up. Where is it? Here it is. We got this. <laughs> Oh god. I wanna fight someone though. I have to clear this top. Someone fight me please. Meet at Baron. <laughs> Meet me at Baron. Alright, wait, I gotta go clear this top wave first. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All those minions are gone. Alright, uh, I gotta go find someone to fight. We're gonna go, we're looking, we're on the hunt. We're sneaking through the jungle. The alligator, looking for his prey. The crocodile, crawling through the river. Well, I guess they don't crawl, they swim, huh? Alright, swimming through the river. Here we come. Alright. Someone fight me! <laughs> come fight! <laughs> I want to battle you. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> they won't fight me. I'm pretty sure I can just auto sustain through his damage. <laughs> oh god. I wish I got to do it. Oh come on. Let's get him. No! No, Renekton! Why? Why would you do such a thing to me? <laughs> Back out, guys! Yes, yes, the game continues! Ah, oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes! Alright, we get to do damage to people now. Alright, I might even sell my boots so I can buy a Hydra. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> oh god, this is so troll. I just want to fight someone first. I do so much damage. Oh my god. My empowered W's hit for 623 26 it's 17 minutes in a game what the hell oh god what is, <laughs> please help <laughs> they're gonna go barren all right i just want to fight people i want to test my damage uh a few days ago i did like pure damage renekton i did this plus a b no this guy's so bm Oh, pop him! Pop him like a pimple! Come here! That guy's dead too. No! <laughs> oh my god. I was trying to bait too hard. I should just pop my shit and went ham. Alright. <laughs> Damn it, Jana! GG, well played. Jana's. Too good, dude. Chain of carries. Alright, so that was kind of a weird game. <laughs> but that's kind of how you freeze a lane. If you if you take anything from that, you take how to how to freeze a lane and d completely destroy someone. Uh, yeah. So just watch that over again. Learn how to manipulate the creep waves. I actually got a video about that. So if you want to check that one out, it's like a quick tip, I think. 
I don't know which number, but it's called Creep Wave Manipulation, but you should check that out. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. I should have a, a lot better game. This one was a little weird. They're releasing, like, afk after they got, like, owned in early game, but whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you tomorrow.